Hey guys, Andy here. Welcome back to part two on TestFX4. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up headless uh, testing um, in a developer ID, in this case, NetBeans. Now, the problem with uh, functional testing is that it takes a long time and when it's running, you really can't use the keyboard and the mouse. So you're losing out on productivity. So we obviously want to get rid of that problem. So in order to do that, we're going to set up the test in headless mode and we're gonna to need to do three things, okay? First thing we're gonna do in our palm.xml, we're gonna get the open JFK monocle, okay? So let's open that up, and you'll see very simply that it is an artifact ID there, open JK, JFK monocle, and that'll allow you to run this as if it was on an embedded system. So for example, if you're on a continuous um, integration server, you would want to take the source, compile it, make it available as jars so that these functional tests are not taking all night to run. Okay, um, So that's simply just to do that in your palm.xml file. If we go back to the outline here, second thing is, is we have to enable a couple of system properties. And the best way to do that, like I showed you in the last um, tutorial, part one, was every one of our functional tests extends test base, okay? And test base extends the test effects application test. Now, what I've done differently from the last tutorial, part one, which by the way, the, the link is available in the description, is that I put up a before class here so that JUnit can execute it. And I see here that I have a boolean dot get boolean headless. So what that really means is that there's a system a property that's going to be defined. I'll show you where I define that called headless. It's a boolean. So when it's true, right, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five system properties set up to support headless testing. Okay. And if not, well, then I'll just have my regular head full testing. So I'll be able to switch back and forth. That's really the only thing that's going to be different. Going back to our outline, now I'm going to set up the IDE to switch between these two testing modes. So how do we do that? Well, over here, you'll notice in NetBeans, there's a default configuration and I've added a headless one. So how do you do that? You go into Customize. I took the default. I simply pressed Clone. And in Clone, all I did was give it a name and pressed OK. And that became headless. So in headless, if you open that up and you check out the actions, you'll notice that in the build, I, so I, I put a headless equals true as a system property. And I also put one for test project, test file, so on and so forth. So you can actually choose when uh, this system property is going to be defined, in this case to true, uh, based on different actions you do in the IDE. So for example, right now, if I use my default configuration and I build this, this will actually look pretty much like it did in part one, where you're going to see the GUI pop up and it's going to do a whole bunch of tests, except in part one, you didn't see a login screen, right? Because I've been working on part three here on how to switch between scenes and stuff like that. So that'll come out the next next part. But while this is going on, I cannot use the mouse and the keyboard. So I'm stuck here. I'm not being productive. OK, so you see here for uh, 20 some odd seconds, wasn't able to do anything. But look at it. So had a test, zero failures. So it did a good job, but you can imagine if you're running this like 100 times a day, that that's really gonna take a chunk out of your productivity, okay? Now if you go to headless mode, and let's uh, build it again. Now you'll notice that I'm, I'm playing around. Well, I'll actually, you know, I'll bring this up for you guys so you can see that it's doing it, but you can actually see it down here as well. But I'm using, you know, the mouse, I can type, I can do, you know, I can be productive now. I can do other things with my computer while this is actually doing its thing, okay? So that's the whole point of setting up headless mode. Now it's finished, okay? We take a look, and again, we had a test, zero failures. So that's pretty cool, right? Now you guys have a way to switch between head full and headless testing by a little click of the mouse over here, little drop down list and net beans. That's it guys, short and sweet. So thanks for watching and uh, next week I'll come out with part three. So stay tuned for that. Ciao.